This miner is pretty much as powerful as the S98 miners, but the cost is much, much less. What's up guys, welcome to another video. This is Charlie Lane. Today, I'm showing you another mining distributor. So you can see that they are have mountains of miners over here. I just met with the owner of this company. This is a very, very young gentleman. I think he's like 24, 25 years old. And he told me that he got into the world of cryptos from 2013 when he was still studying in the schools. That was a really, really early time point. I asked him many questions, including this one. What kind of advice will you give if people ask you which miner they need to buy? In order to answer this question really well, I have asked the many professionals and experts for crypto mining in China. I got multiple, multiple answers. I don't think any of these answers is the best. I got this question many times. Earlier I said, every miner is an investment idea, so I'd rather not give you any kind of suggestion. But now I think this topic is still worth discovering. We cannot choose all miners like choosing an iPhone. Of course, the best iPhone is the most updated iPhone out there in the market, iPhone 13 or whatever that's more advanced. But when it comes to money, we cannot choose our miners like a consumer. We have to choose our miner as an investor. There are a couple of different factors that you have to take into consideration. Maybe the first question that we have to ask ourselves is which coin we want to mine. Do you want to mine Bitcoin? Or you want to mine Kadena, Ethereum? If you want to mine Bitcoins, of course, an ideal miner is Bitmain miners and miners. My experience told me that some of those biggest miners, they mine Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the mother of all cryptos. Although it cannot be doubled like in very short time, it is the safest coin to mine. It is still the strongest coin ever in the history of cryptos. If you want fast returns, you'd better choose Kadena miners or less known coin miners because their returns are faster and bigger in the short term. It really depends on if you have a short-term or long-term strategy. It doesn't mean the short-term strategy is worse because as a miner, as an investor, you are totally free to make your own choice. You want your returns fast or you can afford your returns come slowly. Okay, the second factor is the electricity. If you have very, very expensive electricity, as most of us as individuals have, we'd better not choose end miners because the end miners consume a large amount of power. Ask yourself, what kind of capacity do you have? If you have a very big industrial house or very big plant, of course, you can't choose industrial grade mining. You, well, usually in private homes, we don't have cheap electricity. But if you have a, like a very big industrial house or big plant, which allow you to access cheap electricity, <laughs> any kind of miners may be suitable for you. And especially end miners, if you're big on Bitcoins. If you have extremely cheap electricity, you can consider some of these outdated miners like L3+, Plus, L3++, Plus, or S9 miners. Although they are more easily to have problems after running some time, their returns to you are like 100% because your cost is very little. And also, what is the type of your mining? You're doing this from your home or you're doing this uh, from an industrial house. Different kind of uh, conditions on your side will decide which miner you will buy. If you want to do home mining, GPU mining may be a good idea because the GPU mining does not consume as much power. The kind of heat and the power consumption it causes to you is much less than the ASIC miners. If you're an individual miner, another good choice is the smaller coin miners, like gold shell miners. Because these miners, when they're running, they're really silent. We call them silent miners. Basically, you can run these miners in your office or in your home. One more thing, you'd better do as much as research as you can before you choose your favorite miners. For example, my last video tells you about the T17 series or S17 series miners are easily to have problems. However, if you have this upgraded solution for the cooling plates, they may still be worth a try. One of the viewers said they are have easily having problems, but I still have a soft spot for them. If you have upgraded cooling solution, they're still worth a go. Finally, if you find me missing some kind of points when it comes to how to choose a miner, you are totally welcome to offer your input in the comment section. I'm sure all the followers and viewers of this video will find your opinions really useful. As we're talking about this question of which miner to buy, maybe I can use this opportunity to introduce to you a very new miner, a very powerful miner. After speaking with the owner of this company, I got a really good information for you. It's about a brand new miner. It's a miner that's very little known by anybody in the world. This miner is called Coin Miner of C16 series. 
It's a really, really powerful miner, but the cost as compared with end miners is only 50%. It's like with the money of end miner, you can buy two of these miners. That's a really good bargain. This gentleman said he will get one of these miners to his office to test him very soon. And I asked him, hey, please definitely let me know. I will definitely go to your office in the earliest when you have the miner running. If you're interested in one of these coin miners, you can let me know. And I can do my best to offer you this miner at the best price possible. Because the owner of this company says he pretty much controls the distributorship of this miner. Okay, maybe this is pretty much it for this video. If you find my YouTube channel helpful to you or some of your friends, please don't hesitate to subscribe or let your friends know about my channel. I hope you learned a little bit more about mining, about which miner to buy for yourself. And also, I hope that you will find this coin miner recommendation useful to you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.